Today I'm going to demonstrate the beginning of the redox titration lab um, and I'm going to complete step one of our purpose or begin step one of our purpose which is to prepare an aqueous solution of the oxidizing agent potassium permanganate KMNO4. So prior to starting the video I carried out calculation number one on page five of the lab handout. Calculation number one asks us to calculate the mass of KMNO4 required to prepare 500 milliliters of 0.02 molar KMNO4. So please carry out that calculation um, to determine the amount of KMNO4 required. So I determined that 1.58 grams of KMNO4 is needed to make up an approximately 0.02 molar KMNO4 solution. So I'm going to mass that out on the digital balance to the nearest 0.01 grams. Almost there. So go ahead and record that value, 1.58 grams of potassium permanganate, plus or minus 0.01. And just as a description, it is a little bit hard to see in here, but it is a crystalline solid. It's purple in color, and it's a little bit shiny. And I'm going to add this now to a beaker of warm water. So inside this beaker, I already have about 400 milliliters of water heating up. Right now, the temperature is about 75 degrees. I'm gonna stir, uh, turn up the heat a little bit and turn up the stirring a little bit. And I'm going to add the KMNO4 to the beaker. And you can see we get a real intense purple color. When we do that, it looks like grape juice. I'm going to rinse off that little um, boat so I make sure I get all of it in there. And I'm going to let this stir and heat until we reach, according to our instructions in part one, until it reaches 90 degrees Celsius. So this is for the complete dissolving of that solid. So I have my stirring turned way up. I'm just gonna spray down the sides to make sure all of the solid gets incorporated in there and dissolved. So I'm, I'm also turned the heat way up. So I wanna get this all the way to 90 degrees with stirring. Now, it doesn't matter exactly how much KMNO4 that I put into the solution because we're going to be standardizing the KMNO4 solution in the first part of this lab, in part one, by doing a redox titration. So titration is a technique to get a very accurate uh, measurement of the concentration of a solution by using a primary standard. And so that's what we're going to be doing in class next week. So today, when I'm making my KMNO4 solution, I just want it to be close to 0.02 molar, but I'm going to be determining, determining the exact molarity of this solution in the lab when we carry out the titrations. So the KMNO4 solution has now reached a temperature of 90 degrees. And so I'm gonna turn off the heat. And according to our instructions, I'm going to add 
uh, some more deionized water to take this up to an uh, approximate volume of 500 milliliters. And so I'm going to get my thermometer out of there. I don't need that anymore. And then just using the lines on the beaker, I'm going to add enough water to get up to about 500 milliliters. Again, none of this really matters um, as to how much water we're adding because we are going to be standardizing the solution. And so we will eventually be determining its exact concentration. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is transfer the KMNO4 solution into a flask for storage. And this will be the solution that we use to do all of our titrations. Okay, so I'm going to show you the storage flask next. This is called a Florence flask. Um, it has a capacity of about 500 milliliters. It has a flat bottom, so you can see even though it looks around, it sits flat on the table. And I'm just gonna use a funnel, a liquid funnel, for transferring the liquid from the beaker into the Florence flask. So I'm gonna turn my stirring off over here on the hot plate. Um, you can see I'm putting on some heat resistant gloves because this was heated to 90 degrees. So that'll be hot to the touch and um, pouring a hot solution is always a safety concern. So I'm gonna protect my hands and also slowly transfer that solution to the Florence flask. And you can see that intense purple color. This will stain um, your hands or your clothing or your skin if you get this on you. So obviously you want to take care whenever transferring the solution. Okay, and that little thud right there was the um, magnetic stir bar just falling into the top of the funnel. We'll get that out of there. Now this solution that we've, we've made here in this step is light sensitive. And so for storage purposes, we're going to put a stopper in it once it cools down. I'll put a rubber stopper in and then I will wrap the entire flask in aluminum foil for storage. So now we have prepared the KMNO4 solution that we're going to be using in our redox titrations. Our next step will be to standardize this solution using a primary standard called um, sodium oxalate. The instructions, we have finished steps one through six, and so the instructions of the lab in step seven is to do calculation number two on page five. Calculation number two reads, calculate the mass of sodium oxalate required to react with 25 milliliters of this approximately 0.02 molar KMNO4 solution. So that calculation and a data table will be needed in order for you to start the lab next week. Thanks guys.